In this video, we'll look at how to calculate the work done. It's from your textbook, page 192, number 16. And the question reads, if there's a 10 Newton force acting in the direction of vector 1, 1, and that moves an object from the point negative 2, 1 to 5, 6, calculate the work done and the distances in meters. Okay, well, we're going to use the formula work equals the force vector and take the dot product of that with the direction vector. Well, first we got to figure out this force vector. And so we need to have a whole bunch of work done first. So the first thing is we're told it's a 10 Newton force in the direction of the vector 1, 1. So let's call that, direct, that initial vector, we'll just call it V for now, is 1, 1. And let's calculate its magnitude, which is easy to do. It's just the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared, which is just the square root of 2. So we have a unit vector in that direction of v, which is just going to be 1 over its magnitude and the other coordinate or component over its magnitude. So now we have the same vector we were given originally, but we have it as a unit vector. And that's good because now we can talk about the force vector as being 10 newtons or a length of 10 units in this direction. So to calculate the force vector, we just go, well, it's 10 units times the unit vector in that direction. That is to say, now we have a vector that's a magnitude of 10 when we multiply that 10 in. Now we have this vector that's a magnitude of 10 in the direction we were given. And so now we have our force vector. So that's really good. The only th other thing we need is the direction vector. Well, we're given the point P comma Q. So the direction vector is just going to be Q minus P. That is to say, we just take 5 comma 6 and we subtract. This is right out of the textbook if you want to look to see where I got those numbers. Those are P and Q right from the textbook. And this is Q take away P. So when we go 5 minus minus 2, we get 7, and 6 minus 1, we get 5. And so now we have a direction vector, and we have a 10 unit force in the right direction. So now we've got everything we need. We can just do the dot product of the force vector, 10 over root 2, comma 10 over root 2, dot with the direction vector, 7 comma 5. And when we take their dot product, we just multiply the first components together. So that would be 70 over root 2. And then add the second components multiplied together, which is 50 over root 2. So we get 120 over root 2. And we're not quite done. I mean, that's essentially all the work, but we can simplify this by rationalizing the denominator. That is, we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by root 2. When we do that, on the top we get 120 root 2, and on the bottom we get 2. And now we can simplify what's 120 divided by 2, just 60. And so the answer is 60 root 2. In other words, the work done, we'll need a therefore statement because it's a word problem. The work done is 60 root 2, and our units are of course joules. So how did we calculate the work done here? We took the direction it was moving in, found its magnitude so we could get a unit vector, and then found the force vector of that. Sorry, I think I said direction vector, but this was the direction of the force, not the direction vector. Sorry, the direction of the force vector made it a unit vector for the force. And then we found the force vector as a multiple of the force's unit vector. Then we found the direction vector, and we multiplied those together using dot product. And when we did that, we simplified, and we found the work done. 